There's so much St. John of Avila did during his lifetime. He helped implement the Council of Trent in Spain. He was also known as the gifted preacher. In fact, his preachings motivated St. John of God to convert to Catholicism. On October 7th, he will become a doctor of the church. He was born in Spain in the year 1500. He actually rejected his parents' inheritance and was ordained a priest at the age of 26. Even though he wanted to evangelize in what's now Latin America, he was asked to stay in Seville. He soon became a well-known preacher, although he also suffered false accusations. He was a man who converted people, and back then, conversions sometimes would ruin business transactions. He was falsely accused in the Inquisition and was prosecuted for almost two years. He spent a year in jail where he faced a possible death sentence. He's remembered as a good spiritual teacher who touched people from all walks of life. Many priests would ask him for advice so they too could improve their formation and preaching style. He also influenced many saints of his time. He knew Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Another example is Saint Juan de Ribera, who was also his disciple. He knew Saint Therese and she actually sent him her biography. Nobody wanted to approve it, but St. John of Avila did. He said everything she felt was that of God. In Spain, he founded colleges and universities. In 1545, he experienced the opening of the Council of Trent and spent many years working on actually implementing the council. He dedicated much of his time to forming priests, which is what he asked for in the Council of Trent. He specifically asked for seminaries. He founded several seminaries like the one in Cordova and the University of Valencia, which was both for the laity and the clergy. St. John of Avila died in Cordoba in 1569, but the last 10 years of his life he continued to teach through letters. Eventually those writings influenced other saints. In 1946, Pius XII recognized all his work and named him a patron saint of Spanish priests. Now he will be recognized once again on October 7th, when he is named a doctor of the church.